Live from Don't Ever Bank Your Field in Croxton Skull, Florida, it's time for some mutant football. It's hard for me to figure out what my favorite part of coming to Florida is. The best part of Florida is leaving so you can read the headlines instead of witnessing them. This is the only place that the nuclear wasteland actually improved. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for MFL action. The Nuke London Hatriots take on the Crocs and Skull Jugulars. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> The paddy wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air. And the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means MFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mutant let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosions. Water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. Second down in a very lot. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. That's a catch for a 10 yard gain. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot was open downfield so the QB threw the ball away. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Third down and five. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Second down and long. Hot one, hot two, hot. Perfect pass and a score! Hmm, I don't remember that being an officially sanctioned NFL rule. Yeah, <laughs> you're
Second down, and we've got a and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. Hot one, hot two. Hey. And the oh man, he really won. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. <laughs> uses a time warp dirty trick to erase that last play. Hiring all those team physicists really paid off. And you said they were crazy. Hot two. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. down and the offense needs a miracle. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. This guy's gonna get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. I don't know if he even had a I think the blow up play, but the blow up on a play? Then it's the team. Guys should learn from this. He's dead, you moron. Second down and ten. Slice through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. That'd be caught for the first down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. First down and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! At some point, they're going to need to put this ref out of his misery. Uh, how about now, for instance? Here's a hit. 30 tricks. Attack the ref. <laughs> Second down and more. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down in a mile. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for something, but I won't be the one to tell him. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. My friend, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. Third 
down in. The punter is warming up. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. It should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. Uh, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Second down and ten. And this game is up for grabs. Third down and... Well, good luck. Hot one, hot two, hot three. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Oh, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburner. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. How do you like your defenses cooked? The ball carrier saying, well done. Bang, baby, bang. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. That was a good throw. Assuming he was aiming for the ground. Second down and ten. here just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake straight through the uprights the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air scoring makes anyone confident it certainly does bricks it certainly does high five First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Second down and... Oh, and the defense jumps 
still so if he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho Killer Keska say, what the fuck, 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 fuck. Second down and ten. and downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. warming up. Wow! The quarterback just threw a sub. Oh, the receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. Well, I want Sean Kicker make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That wasn't a leg, you moron. That was Tripod Jenkins. The one with the beat. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. up eight yards on that pass. And the two-minute warning sounds. Time to get a beer. Hey, get me one, too. Second down and two. first down to keep the drive alive. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And it's first and ten. And like a monkey 
you trying to... If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a... They used their second time out, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point. And drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. First down! This guy just loves to hit people as hard as he can, Grim. I don't even think he knows what a first... And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm. That's bleak, Bricks. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a brawn in my bed. It was a chip. Oh, with a punishing hit. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused! And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a... And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Boom! And it's first and ten. away first down i've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past but i heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again you know good communication is important and then a first down from a great catch was it a catch though let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out <laughs> And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass. And this rep is definitely on the tank. That was a bogus pass.
Second down, and we've got a offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. You gotta take bribes if you're a ref, Bricks. They get paid peanuts next to these players. It's hard to make a decent living. Mm, even harder when you're dead. Second down in a mile. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimo berry, salmon heads, kimchi. I meant it, anything really tastes good. Defense gives up five yards on that pass play. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. The punt of the day is being played by my kid's sister. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he... And he's off to the races. And it's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pilot? Third down and, well, good luck. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that. And he's got a chance for a good return here. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. up a new set of downs and it's first and ten that's a gain of seven yards on the catch nicely done Second and three. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic pressure. to jump over those mines or steer clear of them. And 
Giants, first and ten. Second down and long. If you can't get the sack, that's the next best thing. Third down and long. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one time thing. First and ten. And that player just transformed into a giant. Good luck. And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. And it's first and ten. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Oh, that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Man, this guy just blew up and he's on fire. I'm not talking about one of those video game fire modes. I mean, literally, he's like burning bacon down there. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First day, you kill a ref. It's not murder if they have it coming, right? Take the hit, do something about that ref, you pussies! I don't even get out of it. 
And this is a first and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down and forever. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Third down and forever. <laughs> oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. That's a little on the note. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And it's first and ten. Nicely done for a first down. First down and six. Second down and seven. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. <laughs> well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. Kaboom! And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast against the defense, knocking everyone down, but oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. with a brutal hit. Second down and seven. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. Oh, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me. And that's an incomplete pass. Looks like the defense got away with that one there. Uh, they receiver like that. He could get hurt. Second down and ten. And he held on 
on to that one for a first down. First down and one. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. You know, back in the day when you scored a touchdown, you acted like a man, not some chorus girl. That's right. You looked up into the stands and married some big mouth who had been taunting you. I got that right. Get on out. Get on out. Get out. Get on out. Get on Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. What a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. Running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Third and two. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. First and four. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. never happened because the defense called a time warp dirty trick and transport their offense back in time. It's just a jump to the left. And a step to the right. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Grim, can I kill him? <laughs> the Crux and Skull Jugulars took their city's name to heart and win the game. The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that if 
undefeated teams should get a participation award because you know, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard to shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the scotch, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. <laughs> with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhawk Corporation. They get it right every up.